probably be landing at Oslo. Hey, a very warm welcome here to Oslo. With the local time is just approaching 10.30 in the morning. Please remain seated with your seatbelt securely fastened until the fastened seatbelt signs have been switched off. Thank you for choosing to fly with us today and we look forward to seeing you again very soon. Thank you and a very good morning to you all. Hi, hi, can I get soy cappuccino, please? So, and which size do you want? Um, medium, please. Thank you. Thank you. So, it's been a year. It's been exactly a year since I moved out of Norway. I can still remember the end of last February last year. I was packing my stuff and getting ready to pursue my goals and my dreams in London. Yes, I'm leaving. I'm certainly leaving Norway, guys. Yes, I'm leaving Norway, guys. And one year after, I'm back to Norway. And of course, I'm starting my trip from my most favorite Starbucks in Gardermoen Airport in Oslo. Welcome back to Norway, guys. Welcome back. Today is going to be absolutely random video. First of all, I would like to share with you my emotions and let you know what exactly changed about the country or about myself. Let's see. But also, I would love to keep it useful. So I will try to give you some vital advice how to plan properly your first ever trip to Norway. Especially if you are like me, coming to this gorgeous country in the time. Shall we? Time to dive in. But my Starbucks first. And my vital advice number one. When you land in Gardermoen Airport in Oslo, most probably you will need to go to city center. Please entirely forget about any taxi. Never ever take Uber from the airport in Oslo to Oslo city center. Never. Always take a train. Let me give you an example of how different the price is. Right now, out of curiosity, let me check how much I would pay for Uber if I decided to take it from the airport to Oslo city center. The cheapest one is 700. 177.41 Norwegian kuna, which is almost 77 US dollars. 77. 777 Norwegian kuna versus 118 Norwegian kuna. Feel the difference. You know what? Let's get a train. exactly where everything started two years ago. This is the exact place I filmed my first ever video about Oslo and how pandemic changed life here. Hi guys, I'm Anna and welcome to my channel. Today we are in Oslo, the capital of Norway. And here we are again, two years after, same place, same coat. We are in Oslo and let's see how it changed in one year. Let's take a walk. And the weather here is gorgeous, super pleasantly warm and sunny, like you asked guys. You see, only the best for you, only the best. Fine, I feel like this video is going to be super emotional. First of all, I didn't sleep really last night. I was working on my travel guide to Rome until 2 a.m. and my flight was at 7.30. I haven't been to Norway for a year and today, now I realized I really missed it so much. And third, like cherry on the top, I just received a very crazy email from my electricity supplier company in London and their increase and it's an absolute night nightmare. It's absolutely insane and crazy. And you know what, that's going to be a subject for our next video. If I have any regrets about leaving Norway and um, trying to settle in London, yeah, I'll update you for sure. And let's see if by the end of this video, I will come to another decision to change everything back and come back to Norway <laughs> for further settlement. I have no idea what to expect from this life. 
we'll see. I have a week here. Let's see how this week will change my life. As anything can happen in this world, especially now. And straight away, my favorite souvenir shop in Oslo, in city center, right next to the central station. And this is exactly where I'm usually getting some souvenirs for my friends and family, and also some cool things with Norwegian, with Norwegian flag for myself. Let's see what else I can add to my Norwegian collection. I think I know exactly what I'm going to get from here this time. What do you think about this one? Do you like it? I was prepared to tell you about cold Norwegian winter and also you need to get ready before you coming to Norway, especially winter time. But this weather is absolutely surprising. I'm not wearing my neck warmer, but still I have it with me. I'm wearing my hat, but um, it's not like I really need it. And I don't even need my gloves. I can film even without them and it's absolutely fine. But still, I highly recommend you guys warm shoes, comfortable shoes and also woolen socks just in case to make sure that your feet are warm i don't know how about you but for me when my feet and my hands are getting cold that's a disaster <laughs> that's the end of my day And this is another place where everything started, exactly this square. I was filming here for the first time in my life. I was so shy to do it in public and I was trying to find any quiet corner just not to attract too much attention. Now, well, I'm okay with that. And also, I remember last time I was avoiding having trams around me, but good Mike does the job. Thank you, Rod. Oh my God, guys, I'm getting so nostalgic. I cannot explain it, it's just... I feel amazing to be back. Another very important point to mention about your next or your first trip to any Nordic countries like Norway or Sweden, please guys, book your accommodation well in advance. Sometimes in countries like England or Italy, you can take that super hot deal when you're booking places two or three days before your arrival, like a last minute booking discount. It doesn't really work in Nordic countries. In Norway, you better book your accommodation well in advance. Options where to stay in Norway will be different. You can choose from the hotels. The key chains here would be Radisson, Scandic, Nordic Choice or Best Western. If you want something super special, go for the Thief Hotel, which is in Akkerbriga. It's the most luxurious hotel in the whole Norway. This trip I'm spending in Clarion the Hub Hotel, which is right next to Central Station of Oslo. And if you're curious how the hotel looks like and how my room looks like, how breakfast looks like, okay, let me give you a quick tour. You know what's probably the major thing I was missing so much about Norway? Yeah, it's tap water. Guys, I mentioned it 100 times in the previous videos, the Norwegian tap water is super tasty, amazingly clean and fresh. And that's why for those of you who are planning to come to Norway in the future, never ever buy drinking water here in the supermarket. Save your money. Just keep an empty plastic bottle or any other bottle with you and refill it every single time you feel thirsty right from the sink in your hotel or any other places around here norwegian tap water is officially the tastiest water in the world oh my god i was missing it so much love it thank you norway for your amazing tap water you know what's next in my list of things i was missing about norway a lot it's flask Coffee. Norwegian plus coffee. When you're coming to Norway, forget about all these fancy drinks like cappuccino, latte. It's not the speciality of this country. When you're in Norway, I highly recommend you trying is flask coffee. Just black coffee, you can add as much milk as you want in it. Just go for it. So it's time to get some breakfast and it's time to get my Norwegian plus coffee. And Brunos cheese, of course. Do you know Brunos cheese? Next time in Norway, remember this name. It's called Brunos and you absolutely must try it. Absolutely. Okay, guys, let me give you three reasons why most probably I will be back to Clarion Hotel. First of all, dear Clarion Hotel, thank you so much for this hairdryer. Oh my god, that's amazing. You cannot imagine how much of a life changer this is when you come to countries like Norway, cold countries, with a hair like this. 
and when you have a hair dryer in the hotel of this size it takes you ages drying your hair guys i'm not coming to scandinavia to stay in my hotel and dry my hair i want to go out for as long as possible so please help me to dry my hair as fast as i can second thing is the shampoo hair conditioner and um where is it ah. <laughs> shower gel they have it's all from the from company called Pritols and I've never seen this brand in any other hotel and guys I have to tell you my hair feels absolutely amazing no other hotel shampoo and hair conditioner can do this magic to my hair Clarion Hotel thank you so much for this and reason number three I'll better show you what sort of breakfast they feeding their guests with So thank you so much, Clarion Hotel the Hub. I might be back for more of your amazing services.